All right. What's up, tycoons? What up, traders? Today's video, we are going to be using the scan tab on Thinkorswim to go ahead and create a simple scan that you can use to start getting some buy and sell alerts. Now, scans normally do not alert you, but I'm going to teach you guys how to create the scan, then save the scan. And once you save it, you can actually make it a watch list over here. And once you are on your watch list, there's a simple setting right over here where you can go ahead and um, you can you can basically be alert and be notified anytime that the scan changes and a new stock pops in the scan with a simple buy or sell alert based off of the DMI. So it's very useful for beginner traders as well as advanced traders. If you have problems finding plays, right? If you're just kind of always searching and you don't know where to search or where to look, this will help you out a lot and give you some great ideas to start looking at for trade ideas. All right. So smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to reset the screen uh, because, you know, this is probably what your screen is going to look like when you first begin. Now, the first thing we're going to do is X these two things out. We're going to go over here to stock and we're going to put this as last. And what we're going to do is put 10 to 500 right over here. Now, what this means is that you're scanning for stocks whose last price was between 10 and $500. And then we're going to add one more filter and it's going to be a study. So we'll click on study. We're going to change this from ADX crossover to volume and then the average volume. And we're going to leave this at the default settings. Uh, the reason we do this is really because this helps out with liquidity. Liquidity is something very important when helping yourself get the entry price and the exit price that you want. You need to be trading something liquid. Uh, so this will help you find more liquid sto uh, stocks, right? Basically by just having this on. Uh, it's also very important for options. You really need liquidity and options. That's a very important tool. The next thing we do from here is we go to add condition group. So we're not going to click add filter. We're going to click add condition group. We're going to go to any of the following. Now from here, we'll go ahead and click add filter. We're going to go to study. And what we do is we change this from the ADX crossover. We come down here and hit custom. Okay. Um, now, again, it defaults to the ADX crossover. So all you have to do is hit the delete button right here and it'll get rid of that for you. And now we can put in whatever we want. So we click add condition. We're going to go to study and type in the DMI, right? And what we're looking for is we are looking for the um, ADX. Okay. We want it to be greater than the value of 25. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and hit add condition again. We're going to go back to study, type in DMI again. And this time we're going to put the D plus crosses above and then hit select condition, go to study, DMI again. And we want it to cross above the D minus signal. We'll hit save right here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK on this and keep this in there. So now we have that and it's going to start giving us results where the ADX is greater than 25 and the DMI plus crosses above the, D, uh, the DI minus, right? Um, the next thing we're going to do is basically repeat this process. But what we're going to do now is do the D minus crosses above the D plus. So we'll go back to study. We're going to change this from ADX. Go here, hit delete, add condition. We'll go back to study, type in the DMI. Right, and we want the ADX to be greater than the value of 25. We'll hit save, we'll hit add condition, and then we'll hit study DMI. We want the D minus to cross above study DMI, the D plus. And we'll hit save right here. And now our scan is going to be saved. So now we're going to be scanning for anything essentially with a buy signal or a sell signal. And we can come in here and hit the scan button and see what results pop up. And we'll plug one of those stocks into uh, our charts real quick and go ahead and see what exactly it is that we're looking at and what we're looking for on these scans. So our scan results have came in and uh, we have Mattel on here, ticker symbol M-A-T. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the scan tab and we're going to go over here to charts and check out the chart and see what it is really that we are scanning for. So we'll hit charts, go over here to charts and type in uh, what was the what was that ticker symbol? M-A-T. So M-A-T. Go ahead and pull that up. 
Okay, and so now what we are scanning for is going to be this down here, all right? This is our DMI. We have the red line is your minus, we have the green line is your plus, and we have the blue line is the ADX, okay, the average. Now, a way to interpret this is basically buyers, sellers, and then the overall average. So this lets you know who's in current control of the stock, whether it is buyers. Uh, if buyers were in control, then the green line would be up here at the highest. If sellers were in control, okay, then it would be up here at the top, right? And we can see previously sellers were in control up here on the top and then they lost control and the stock started to rebound a little bit, okay? And then over here, they gained back control and from here at this moment, the stock trended down. So what we're seeing and what we're scanning for is we're scanning for a crossover of the buyers trying to take control over the sellers, right? And we want the ADX to be above 25 um, just to give us a healthy range, right? Uh, so now that we're seeing this, this potentially could be a long play, right? We can see that we have our 50 simple moving average up here. We have our 200 simple moving average up here. Uh, these are two areas that, you know, stocks really like to test for a bounce or to break through. So that's the whole purpose of this video. Uh, once you start to use this scan, um, you can really start to combine it with uh, some of your other signals, right? Another signal here being a bullish divergence. Um, now, if you don't know what that is, I'll go ahead and teach you guys real quick, but it's pretty simple. Uh, so <clears throat> what I want to highlight is these lows right here. So notice how this token is basically in a downtrend, okay? And it's trending down, it's going lower, but we really stayed range bound on our relative strength index. And it started to build a slight bullish divergence. But what I mean by that is, you know, we started to go up a little bit on the relative strength index while the actual token or the uh, stock was going down right over here. So that's an indicator that you may see some bullish activity. And sure enough, we did uh, end up getting a slight bullish activity and we just got a crossover on the DMI. So now we have a couple things leaning towards a more bullish case, right? Our first signal was kind of the uh, bullish, the slight bullish divergence building up. Then now we just got our crossover here. So this could be a potential long play. Um, these are just some of the strategies that you can use. And I have an RSI scan as well that you guys should check out. It's very similar to this one and you can save these as a watch list, right? So that's what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you guys how to do that. So you'll come back over here to the scan and you're gonna click this little button up here in the top right hand corner. Uh, and it's gonna allow you to save your scan. So you hit save scan query. And for this one, we'll call it the DMI crossover. Now I already have this scan saved. So I'm just showing you guys what to do. Um, but what you can do is you can actually come over here uh, and hit uh, and select the gadget. Okay, you'll hit the plus sign and go to watch list. And now you can change it from the default and go to one of your personal watch lists. And you'll see that now your scans are inside of there. So we have the DMI crossover and it's going to be scanning this and giving us, um, you know, potential plays to look at through this watch list. And we don't really have to update it. We can just keep it on over here. Now, the cool part about this is that once you click on this, you can click right here and get an alert when scan results change. The reason that this is really cool and really important is because you don't necessarily have to be looking and constantly monitoring it to find stocks uh, that have potential setups. What you can do is simply hit the alert when scan results change. Okay, and whenever a symbol is added into your uh, scan watch list, you can get a text alert to your phone and that'll let you know that, hey, maybe I want to check out this stock or this stock and see if there's any setups that I like to enter a long position or a short position. So that's it for today's video. Appreciate you watching. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And again, if you like this video, uh, then you may like the RSI scan video as well.